In this exercise, we'll learn how to use a web form to capture leads from our users and save those leads directly into our Zoho CRM system. In other words, visitors to our website can fill in this form and their information will then be saved automatically into our Zoho CRM system. First, we need to create this form. And uh, the way to create this form is through setup. And look for website integration. Under website integration, there's web to lead form. Click that. Click create new form. Now we have to give our form a name. And I'm going to name it. Starbest Coffee contact form. Now, the return URL is the address of the web page that you want to show users after they've submitted their information. And uh, for now, we're going to enter this page as our return URL. Mango Bango, Bringster.net, thankyou.html. This page will simply show a thank you message to the user. Now for the domain name, we're just going to leave it as asterisk for now. Okay, now we're going to select the fields that we want to appear on our form. So companies already ticked for us, we'll tick first name. Last name's already ticked for us, we'll choose title, email, phone, mobile, and uh, finally, description. Now, for this box, you check it if you want to approve the leads that have been entered through this web form. And it's a, a good idea to, to check this box because you don't want leads coming from your web form to automatically be saved into your system unless you've reviewed and validated them first. So we're going to say, yes, approve the leads coming through this web form manually. And you even have the option to send an email in response to the information that, they, that they've submitted. But for now, we're not going to send an email response. And we click Save and Next. Now you'll see that there's some code which has been generated by the web to leads form generation. Now this code is in HTML. We don't have to understand what the code is trying to do. We just need to know that we need to copy it and paste it into our website. So let's um, open up our web page. Okay, now here's a text editor. And uh, I've already got the shell, a basic shell for my contact form here. And um, here, I've inserted place mark, uh, a bookmark to remind myself where I should paste the code from the web to lead form generator. So I'm just going to right click and paste. Okay, and press enter here. Okay, and uh, once I've done that, I save the form. And I open a new tab and I go to the location on my disk where I've saved that form and here it is contact.html okay and here's the form now I'm going to try and see if it works so I'm gonna type in a company name here And I'm going to click Save. Okay, and uh, this is a thank you page that we indicated when we generated the form. Now I'm going into my um, Zoho CRM system. I go to my leads. Now, the lead that we just entered on the form doesn't show up here. 
because we first need to approve that lead. So how to approve a lead? Well, go to the leads homepage and uh, over here, there's a button called lead tools and click the downward arrow to see the sub menu and you'll see approve leads. So click that. Okay, and under approve leads, we can see 7-Eleven Foods, Tracy Chung. This is the record that we just entered earlier through that web form. So it's been entered here and it's awaiting our approval. So at this point, I can just tick the box and say approve. And once I've approved it, it's now saved as one of my leads and I can do further edits to that lead.